Good morning everybody. I hope that you're doing well. I'm just about to get ready to, well, I'm ready. I'm just about to go head off to church in a little while, but um, I'm doing my beef chilli for my dinner tonight. So I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm doing just in case you're interested at all. Um, yeah, Martin's gone to work. Look at my flyaway heads. <laughs> What's going on with that? Um, I've had a bad night's sleep, really bad night's sleep. I put some, um, if sorry, if you can hear crunching and just something going crazy in the background, that's my diva of a cat. She's, she's decided that she doesn't like half of the biscuits in her dried food, so she claws out half of it and it goes all over, honestly. <laughs> Are you okay, hon? Um, yeah, so I put some coconut oil on my scalp last night. Um, and just I'm desperate just to have some relief from this itching and uh, yeah I was up all night had a shower cap on which that ended up coming off because I was scratching so much so I had to wash my pillowcases just put the bedding on this weekend um I'm Leanne <laughs> well, welcome to my channel uh, I waffle a lot I always forget to introduce myself um I'm suffering with some symptoms of the perimenopause and one of them at the moment is extreme itching um, and I mean it's itching everywhere but particularly my my scalp at the moment um, and I had this coconut oil on and honestly I think I sat up for about half an hour um, scratching my head with a chopstick and I was talking to my I was having a coffee before we went and, I, and he said what was you doing us you really disturbed last night and I said I know sorry I said I was just scratching my head like crazy with um that's my washing machine done with a chopstick he just stopped me and he was like um where did you get a chopstick from <laughs> I said well I saw this thing on TikTok where you put a chopstick in a sock and you wrap it around your hair and then you take the chopstick out and then you flip the sock up and you get your natural curls, you know. And he was like, yeah, okay. I'm sat there thinking, I'm not being funny, but if you don't think this is sexy, then <laughs> there's something wrong with you. <laughs> your, your greasy haired, itching, perimenopausal wife sat on the edge of the bed with a chopstick scratching her head. I mean, if that's not a sexy image, then I don't know what is. <laughs> oh my gosh, the poor man. Send help, ladies. Seriously, send help because I don't, I, I don't know. Anyway, I haven't got a lot of time because I've been faffing with what to wear today. Um, yeah, I, I just didn't. The weather seems to be a little bit hit and miss today. Like it's not. Uh, Martin said it's going to be about eighteen um, today, so I'm like, I don't really want to be um, baking hot in a jumper. So then I was. You're going to get my life story every single time. Like I said, I don't have any mates. You're my mates. Help me. <laughs> right, I'm going to get everything set up and then um, I'll come back to you. Okay, so I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to chop up a couple of um, medium onions. If you're not interested in watching this um, full video, I will do a one minute condensed video as well. Um, that'll be in my shorts. Oh, I hate when that bit doesn't come off. So just roughly chop, honestly, most of it gets cooked down anyway, so there's no, um, speed is the key here. Now I've tried um, browning off the mince and not browning off the mince and I haven't noticed uh, one iota of difference um, because it's going in the slow cooker. So honestly, if you want to save yourself some washing up and some time, just whack it all in raw. Doesn't make any difference, my lovelies. The flavour is still exactly the same. See how roughly chopped that in. Let's whack it in the slow cooker. Can you still see what I'm doing? Not particularly, can you? Blimey, Leanne, what kind of an angle is that? 
so sorry what a rubbish angle that was do you know what i'm just going to bring you to the slow cooker so you can actually see I'm trying to get you the best angle again not not necessarily it is is it so i put the onions in there okay let's move that out of the way again get this in the bin and again just roughly chop a couple of smallish peppers um Yeah, just roughly chop. It really doesn't matter, just roughly the same sort of size, but again, it will cook down, so nothing fancy here, guys. You don't have to be a chef or nothing. It's about the flavour with chilies, isn't it? I'm going to chuck this. Let me try it. <laughs> Chuck it in there. Okay. Let's get some. Am I showing you the black pepper? Good old bit of salt. Chuck in your mints. Okay, today I'm using this cheats one. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, if you <clears throat> let me just change this angle. Hi, <laughs> let me shut that cupboard door. Um, if you don't have one of these, but you have some of the spices, all it is literally is um, paprika, garlic, sugar cumin, oregano and chilli. I have all of those um, there, but this is the right measurements and I'm a bit slap that happy when, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, you've seen my cooking. <laughs> just just get it in there, do you know what I mean? Like, right, so let me try, try and angle you down again so you can actually see the, um, ow, that was hard. I'm trying to, okay. Okay, let's do this. Why is it not doing it? Is that better? Probably not. Sorry about this. Uh, whack that in there. Uh, passata, whack that in there as well. I don't like extremely runny, um, saucy things. I like them to be quite thick. So you'll see that with my cooking too. Whack that in there. Then you want some tomatoes pa tomato paste. It's because I ran gro red growers. So I'm just trying to change the words. Just a big glug of that. Then a tin of, we use the red kidney beans in chilli sauce. Add the chilli sauce in as well. Break down your mince a little bit at this point. You don't want to mash up all your... Then a tin of chopped tomatoes. And a bit a beef stock um, pot. Good old mix. Now I'm going to actually add in another tin of kidney beans. Because we quite like them, so I'm going to add in a second tin. This will do us a couple of dinners, so um, if you're going to go to the effort to cook it all day, you might as well make, you can do that at home as well guys, just double your measurements, um, that way you get a couple of dinners for the same amount of effort. Right, this point, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of sugar.
your lid on. It's on low and that will be for many, many hours. Many, many hours. Let it just do its thing. Um, yeah, I'm out today. I'm at church, so it will just be cooking away. Yeah, I should come home to my smelly meal. And then, yeah. I'm literally, like, it's a five-minute prep. Like, there's no point. Like I said, I tried it before where I browned off the mince and um, uh, sautéed the peppers and onions, and, and I've done it that way. And honestly, um, for the effort and everything, and I've done it like this before, it tastes exactly the same. Let me try and get rid of this rubbish. Okay, let's pop these few bits away. Bridge. Just giving the side a quick wipe down. And that, my lovelies is that i'm sorry if the angles were completely rubbish for filming but i was very conscious that i had limited time so that's not your problem you're you've tuned in for some decent content so if i could, yeah i'm sorry i just um yeah i was in a bit of a rush and to be honest with you life is like that sometimes so it just goes to show you how easy you can whack it all together um yeah, I'm just going to leave that on low all day and then I will be doing some homemade wedges. Um, so we'll be having one day, we'll be having like a jacket potato with it um, and the other day wedges. But um, what I will do is um, put some cheese on the wedges once they're cooked and put, pop that in the oven so it melts. Then I'm going to pop the chilli on, then I've got some sour cream and jalapenos and just makes it a little bit more calorific. <laughs> clearly um yeah we we call it either dirty wedges or mucky chips um and love it kids have always loved it as well um i'm not a fan of just chili and rice like i know that that's the traditional way to eat it but yeah i'm i'm yeah i'm not yeah it's not really my thing um and then yeah the other like i said this is well at least two dinners probably a lunch for martin as well um, I'll do jacket potato and I do the same sort of thing put sour cream and jalapenos and some cheese and it'll be all kinds of deliciousness um, but I will I'll check in with you when I come back from church with all of that so um, yeah yesterday I filmed my video decluttering the bedroom I was really hard on myself because I wasn't ecstatic with how it turned out but when Martin come home he was like what are you going on about you've done incredible like it it's amazing i just yeah i just felt really like i don't know what expected the bedroom to grow or something <laughs> double in size um when you have it in your head like i can't rem it, that's how when we got the bed it was set up and yeah so i i think you forget really quickly the floor plan but yeah, it's fine. The clothes horse does fit in that little gap anyway. So it's absolutely fine. I was just um, being hard on myself. And I, and I guess I just wasn't really happy with how the video was going. I just kept thinking, how is this interesting for you guys at all seeing me sort out my clutter and... But I say that about a lot of things and you guys are so lovely, like, yeah, oh, I don't know, yeah. I'm I'm hard on myself. I had to stick on some um, nails last night when I went and bought some. So one thing I've really noticed is my nails are not great. And I think because I'm itching so much as well, I'm like when I'm doing the gel 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 up, when I'm doing the gel and I'm even putting like a builder gel, like a hardening thing on there, they're just not lasting. It's just and they were starting to feel a bit bruised. So um yeah, cut them all down. I'm gonna have a fresh start. Have give them a bit of a rest, a bit of a rest by sticking nails on. Um, but I just bought these at Sainsbury's. I think they were like um, seven pound fifty or something. They're okay. 
um and they and they're not as sharp as like your own nails so you, I, I actually can't scratch as much <laughs> i'll just have to carry my chopstick <laughs> Like, I thought, you know, when them ladies do that hairdo with the chopsticks or pens or something in their hair. I'll have to start doing that just to cover up the fact that I need to. Oh, it's driving me mad. I started using like a baby shampoo um, on a recommendation of someone. Um, yeah, I've got rid of my scented um, shower gels. Um, not got rid of them. I'm not using them. Martin's using them. Uh, he bought me and another lady recommended I'm so sorry that I can't remember um who it was I'm really really sorry because that feels really rude um the Aveeno um body lotion so we've got the one extra dry um it was actually on offer in Sainsbury's I'm not really noticing a difference um at the moment yeah I don't know look honestly it drives it's it's, it's awful really awful yeah desperate like honestly it's it's awful like um i don't think you can see like my scalp i don't know can you see that it's literally like dry scaly like almost like cradle cap i don't know how are we liking me doing the gray thing by the way like embracing the gray i think it's better yeah, I think it's better. I've been judged a lot, you know. Um, people always say, "Oh, it's such a compliment when people say that you you look so young and things." And it and it is, but I've got this big hang up because like, I did have my my children when I was young, you know. Um, me and Martin, he was my first boyfriend and everything. Um, but like, for if whenever there's been a situation like where I've had to go to hospital with one of my girls or just anything like that, like people assume that you're their sister or their friend and they they then they shouldn't treat you with disrespect regardless of who you are to that person you're their support but i get dismissed a lot um a big big one was when lauren had uh yeah. <sighs> when lauren was going through her cancer treatment you know and uh yeah and then and even like when she just gave birth um the other week like I've been there for hours and then all of a sudden and then when they knew that I was her mum they were involved with me more and yeah it's I know people will be like oh you, you know but it's not it's not nice I'm they're my world I don't care what I look like I I'm their mum <laughs> and um yeah I want to want to be recognized that i think i think we, we judge a lot don't we as a society like yeah we make snap judgments on people and um like i say all the time you don't know what's going on in their life you don't know and same as like um my husband there's been times where people have thought i'm the new wife like if we've been at a wedding or something with, with our girls and it's almost like i'm the bit on the side or i don't know like it's very insulting but hey ho it is what it is you know the things that that bother you really so yeah i'm like me and martin are gonna go gray together <laughs> he looks really sexy with gray hair like i love it he used to dye it um a few years ago dye his beard and dye dye his hair and like not like yeah it was quite subtle and um yeah then he just yeah had enough of it and i was like men can get away with it i think they look more distinguished and sexy and we get judged for being old and dried up prunes. Sorry, I'm waffling. This is supposed to be like a quick little dinner <laughs> prep. I'm going on a rant. I think I've actually got to go. I've got to go. <laughs> so I will love and leave you there and I'll catch up with you later when I'm back from church. Lots of love, God bless. Hello. Okay, so it's later in the day. Um, let me tell you the chili smells incredible i just had a little taste of it to make sure that the seasoning and everything's okay and it just tastes absolutely delicious so i've just turned it on to keep warm now because it's been going for five and a half hours on low so um yeah it's it smells literally incredible my mouth's watering i'm starving i've had nothing to eat today 
Um, so what I'm about to do now is just um, wash my potatoes. I'm going to be using jacket potatoes to make my wedges. Um, so I'm going to wash them, chop them up, parboil them, um, get my oil. That's my diva cat. What a surprise. It's like she's been silent and the second I switch on the camera. <laughs> oh gosh, her food like is constantly topped up. It's, you know, she has food all the time. Anyway, yeah, get my oil heated up in the oven, whack my wedges in, put some cheese on. I'll show you all of that bit anyway. I've got, um, I don't know if you can see this, I've got like ink on my fingers. Um, I was just printing off some um, labels for the uh, vintage stuff that needs to be sent off tomorrow. Um, yeah, my phone was pinging like crazy last night, <laughs> which is which is brilliant. I'm glad because it took me so long just to get the few items that I've managed to get on there. Um, I've still got stacks more to do, but um, yeah, so I was trying to print off the stuff and it must have run out of um, paper and it's gone on to... Um, photo paper so at first i went over and i thought oh that's a bit fancy it's like i don't yeah <laughs> i was thinking it's printed it out the exact size because i normally fold the bit you know the a4 paper you fold it so that it's well i do anyway and uh, i thought oh that's a bit fancy i didn't know that it could do that and then i and then it clocked as i picked it up and my fingers went across all the ink so i quickly um messaged martin um to grab some more printer paper um so I can finish printing off the rest of the labels. I, I feel like for some reason vintage changed and it's selected. I've got every single possible postage option going at the minute. So I'm gonna be driving here, there and everywhere tomorrow. I've never done one of those, um, the locker thing. So yeah, that's gonna be an experience, but hey ho, it's gotta be done. Um, yeah, so I'll just, uh, carry on prepping for dinner and stop waffling at you lovely guys i hope that you're having a lovely sunday i'm really looking forward to martin getting home he's on his way home now um yeah i hate it when he works at weekends like, i know he's got it's got to be done but yeah you know, i've really missed him i feel a little bit lost it's very weird i got to church and normally brit or brad are um part of the worship team so brad plays plays bass and brit is singer um, so normally one of them is at least, and um, when I got there, they weren't there. And I asked the pastor, I said, uh, where's, do you know where Brit is? And she was like, I've not seen them. And I was like, Brad? No. So I was like, oh gosh. So I text them. And then my other daughter weren't there either. I was like, where are you guys? Are you coming? Jay said, oh, we're just pulled up. And then Brit messaged saying, because I said, there's no tables left. We always grab a table. Um, for the kiddies and stuff and uh, I said there's no tables left and she said um, I grabbed two tables our stuff's there we've gone for breakfast excuse me I'm, that, don't interrupt that's very rude diva <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm telling you all this stuff but I felt a little bit anxious which is so stupid because it's my church they're my family that are there do you know what I mean basically but I felt a little bit like oh like I've not got Martin with me. I'm talking. Shush. I've not got Martin with me and the girls aren't here yet and I don't know where to sit. <laughs> so I went and ordered myself a coffee and um Yeah, they they all turn up in the end, so fascinating story for you guys. So sorry. Anyway, honestly this cat. What's your problem? What? Diva. Can you see her? What? You know I'm allergic and I'm about to prepare food, so. <laughs> Anyhow, I've been waffling for a long time again, so I'll catch up with you soon. I'm trying to put you in a different location. Hopefully you can see this time, because I watched back the video and I thought, well, that's shocking. You can't really see anything. these into three I think try not to get my fingers although the knives aren't particularly sharp so I'll just do them about that sort of size 
um, what are you guys having for dinner today? We normally always have a roast. Um, I'll do them ones and two. Um, but yeah, I just fancied a bit of a change. Um, Martin would take a roast any day of the week. But we haven't had chilli for a long while, so um, it's one of those things, when I say it, sometimes I really don't fancy it, but when I actually cook it, I'm like, actually, that was really delicious. I need to have that more often. Um, but yeah, sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a change, isn't it? Oh. When you can put something in the slow cooker and not have to worry about it all day. Um, that's always a bonus, isn't it? Right, I'm just going to roughly work out if that's going to be enough wedges. I mean, it should be, or not. I just, I always worry about portions, you know. I mean, it's there's two whole jacket potatoes. But... I'm going to do another one. Sorry, guys, but I'm just worried that Martin's going to be starving. He has been at work all day. I mean, he's obviously not going to be starving, but I can't. I can't abide. I've, I've got re honestly. Don't ask me where this issues come from. Um, but I have a real, yeah, like anxiety. It's been the same with the kids. They ever tell me they're hungry. Oh my gosh! Like I'm dealing with it straight away. Like even, you know, sometimes when you're a kid, you'd say that you're hungry at bedtime so you could get to stay up later. I'm the same. Can't, can't leave, can't um, let them go to bed hungry. Even if it's just a bit of bread and butter. Am I the only one? <laughs> well, that one looks a bit dodge. Let's get rid of that one. Do you know what? I had some potatoes the other week where they were bad all the way through. A whole potato. Really strange. Well, it does seem like a lot now. I'm putting it in there. Oh gosh. Right, so I'm going to salt that, boil that for about 10 minutes. I'm not going to bother. Um, let me just put you back over there. I'm not going to bother seasoning them and um, all of that malarkey because the chili's highly flavoursome and there's cheese going on there. So I'll probably just. Yeah, as is. Some nice potato. I'm saying that, I'll probably will salt them because yeah and then i need to get a drink i'm really really thirsty my mouth's been very dry today um yeah oh, here she goes again honestly as soon as i start properly talking and then she and she does this little little cry like she's not she doesn't want anything she's just letting me know that she's still there <laughs> i think she probably wants to go out she's She's not really a homey kind of cat. She likes to be out and about. She rules this little cold sucker, let me tell you. I think the neighbours really dislike her. She likes to walk behind cars when they're reversing, lay in the road. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> waffling. <laughs> right, I'll catch up with you soon. Then pop in the oven <laughs> to melt the cheese. I can't open the jalapenos, darling. <laughs> oh, I 
can't open my ones either. <laughs> Doesn't that look yummy? Let me just take you off. Okay, so here it is. I really like these sweet um, jalapenos with pineapple. And then this is Hobbies. So it's got wedges, grated cheese, um, chili, and then the sour cream. And there's plenty left over for another dinner. Good morning everybody. Um, I was editing my video which was supposed to be condensed down to a minute short video showing you how I do my beef chilli um, but the camera angles was atrocious. Um, I think that something on my tripod was loose so the camera was slowly moving so it weren't catching anything so it's not suitable to to, to put down as a cooking video one minute thing so it's turned into well doesn't help that the amount of waffling that i was doing <laughs> um made this turn into a longer video standard me but when i was editing that i've realized that actually i haven't signed off it's just the plate of food would be the last thing so i thought that was a bit rude so i thought i'd just quickly run into the kitchen <laughs> and just quickly um give a little ending i hope that you've all had an amazing weekend whatever you've been up to yeah so i just i just wanted to end the video really because it felt a little bit abrupt you know i've been waffling the whole time and then it was like i showed you my dinner and then literally shoveling in my gob and i've forgotten about it <laughs> um, and let me tell you it so yummy and here i am waffling it was just meant to be a quick hello goodbye ending to the yesterday's video oh just let me quickly just say this right now because i felt like a complete lemon honestly i was having complete panic yesterday so i thought right i'm gonna um set my video to upload at 7 p.m um because i've been promising you guys i'd have it by by monday evening at the latest but i thought i'd do it sunday it's done i'm going i'm going to be proactive and get it done as soon as possible and for some reason i thought that oh, there's this premiere thing and i thought oh i'll click that 7 p.m perfect i didn't have a clue what it was and then all of a sudden i've got um these many people are watching waiting and i'm like what and then it's like there's this chat room and i'm i'm literally like i did not mean to do this i just wanted to have the video set to go on a lesson learned <laughs> Sorry about that, that was a whole, like, yeah, that was a very, very weird situation for me. Thankfully, there was one very lovely lady in there that was chatting to me, reassuring me that it's absolutely fine, because um, I did just feel like a complete lemon and like, who do I think I am, like. <laughs> but anyway, so I just thought I'd just clear that up. It wasn't on purpose. Um, yeah, it was very weird watching my uh, video with, um, some other people i didn't didn't love that if i'm being honest <laughs> what i kept thinking is oh shush i'll be doing that now shush leanne just shush i was going to cut a lot out of this video um because i you know but then it's not me like i do ramble and out of that rambling comes um some conversation some opening up and i pray a lot when um I'm off when I'm about to release a video and I just felt that if I keep editing everything down all the time somebody might need to hear something that I'm cutting out yeah it might not make sense to you it doesn't always make sense to me but I just feel that I just need to just um I'll cut out the ums because <laughs> they're driving me mad <laughs> it's very annoying I'm gonna love and leave you there <laughs> before this turns into a whole nother vlog. 
keep being amazing remember your worth in this world your life matters no matter what anybody tells you especially your stupid brain don't forget that no matter no matter what don't ever forget that and yeah just be awesome be awesome remember to be kind you know um we don't know what people are going through and yeah i'll love and leave you there lots of love and god bless